Hello everybody, Princess and, the, Princess and the Bear here. Today, we are at Caribbean Beach Resort for... Sebastian's Bistro. As if you hadn't guessed. We're gonna go check this place out and we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Aww. So we haven't been to Sebastian's Bistro in a good little bit. It's been, a, it's been over a year, I wanna say. The balmy sandwich that they had there was like my jam. This is the real star of the day. Mm. And then for some reason they just stopped serving lunch. Now we have to come for dinner and I all I'm gonna get is some stupid curry. I'm I'm not excited for this review, but we need to try their dinner. Yeah, well we'll link that video somewhere here and uh we're gonna go check it out see how their new vegan options are and uh hopefully it's still as good as the first time we came here we love this place i really don't i'm maybe maybe i'll be impressed but my, i'm setting the bar kind of low because I, the app will still be there i think and maybe the drink that i had but everything else that we had is gone such a daddy mustafa I don't know what's with her today. And I mean, like, why would you open a new restaurant, serve lunch and dinner, and then be open for like six months and then stop serving lunch? Like... Is that a serious question? Yeah. Why would you do that? Uh, look in the background. Behind us here, if you can see it. Do you see anybody? That's why they stopped serving but, lunch. Like, Nobody comes to Caribbean for lunch. All the other restaurants don't are open breakfast, lunch, dinner, or lunch, dinner. Or because they have the traffic. This place even, doesn't have the traffic even right now. Even like California Grill is breakfast and dinner. Ca California Grill is a busy hotel. Are you saying Caribbean's not a busy hotel? Compared to the other walk around hotels, think about them. Pop, Art of Animation. We come here, it's nowhere near as busy as those hotels. And it's a moderate. People don't come here like that. I wish they did. They should come here. This is one of our favorite resorts as far as price to value. They have an awesome bar. They have an awesome restaurant. They have an awesome quick service. All their food here is amazing. It's I love class. I love the theme of the hotel, but unfortunately, it doesn't get the traffic that some of the other hotels get. I it's thought true. the gondolas would change that, but even still, Sebastian Bistro is kind of far from the gondola station. The only thing that the gondolas have done to Caribbean is made it harder to park here. Yes. All uh, right, and then how many allergy menus did you guys Just need? One. Just one? Okay. All right, perfect. Give us a few minutes. We're just getting the table set up. Laura's gonna take you right over to your table, okay? Enjoy, I love you. Outfit. Thank you. Thank you. Cereal. Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing today? Is it our first time? It's not. It's our first time. Hello. It's been a bit. It has. Hello. Bread service anymore. The the rolls, yeah, the Caribbean mm -hmm. pork rolls. Oh. So the only thing that changed okay. with that is before we had the tomato mango chutney, now it's an onion jam. 
Oh, it's actually okay. better for you. That works out. <laughs> yeah. And then the crab cake here is phenomenal as well. It's a whole lot of crab meat packed in there. Comes with a little remoulade sauce and then a salad as well. And down at the very bottom there we have our dinner mains. So we do have a couple different steaks to choose from on our menu. You have a New York strip, which is going to come on a sweet potato plantain mash. So that'll be a really nice marble cut. Has a nice chimichurri sauce on top, which is just like an herbal based sauce. A little bit of parsley, cilantro, garlic flavors in there for you. And we also have a grilled skirt steak chimichurri, so that one's going to come on a bed of yuca. The yuca is going to be mashed up and fried. Yuca is really similar to a white potato, so the way we cook it, it's almost like a little tater tot that on the bottom. It's really, really nice. Then we added in the taste of the Caribbean as well, which just kind of gives you a little sampling of three different entrees on one plate. And you get to choose from the list. All the options on there are absolutely delicious. That'll come with cilantro, rice, and black beans as a side as well. I like that. So I'll go ahead and get you guys started with some drinks. I'll give you a few minutes to kind of look everything over and just let me know if you have any questions. Okay. All okay. right. What are we drinking, guys? Time I was here, the Caribbean Mai Tai. Let's see if it's still as good. It's actually a little better than I remembered it to be. It's very delicious. You can really taste the almond. It's very strong. Oh, the endless journey of Princess and Mai Tais. Those of us out there that ever had uh, frozen Kool-Aid in the summer, like in a styrofoam cup so you peeled around it, it's like that but with alcohol. Oh my god, it's powerful. Whew. Wasn't awake before, I'm definitely awake after that. Three and a half out of five points. Bear got this pear margarita, and what I think is funny is that it's purple. Shouldn't pear be green? It's a prickly pear. I don't know. Oh, prickly pear like on a cactus. Oh. Oh, that's good. I actually like that better than mine, and I don't like pear. <coughs> As for this, I love these glasses. Oh, that's good. Well, that's to five out of five claws for me. That's like perfect. I could lay out here on the deck and drink these until somebody had to get a wheelbarrow and cart me back to the room, which might happen someday. Definitely five out of five claws, without a doubt. a huge crab cake. So salad. It's beautiful salad here. It's got a lot going on. I see some avocado, tomatoes, roasted red bell peppers. I think there's some dried fruit. Either dried fruit or black beans, I can't tell. Vinaigrette. like I'm eating the islands like it's it's very tropical it's a very unusual salad but a good one and I really didn't expect it to be this big I'm like oh that would only be like half this size this is like a meal on its own mm -hmm. I'll give it a salad mm. looks very green Definitely a lot of greens in it. A lot of different types of greens, which is fine. Looks evenly dressed, not too soaked. You can definitely tell. 
Vinaigrette is got a good flavor, but not too heavy. Or it's got a nice crunch to it. It makes a good appetizer. Look at that. Three and a half out of five claws. I'd eat that. Cake of crab with an allergy stick. Got some radishes, a little bit of arugula, some pickled onions, which I'll avoid. A little remoulade. Nice and flavorful spice, but not overly spice. Cooked all the way through, not too yishy. The radishes are the perfect balance with it. Those some four out of five claws. It's a good crab cake. Do you like crab cakes? Definitely try this. Actually, am I using a spoon for this? Because I gave her my fork. Oops, I didn't mean to give up my fork. I'll score in a second. I spoon you. I spoon you because I can't fork you. Ooh, I was wondering if there was going to be rice in this. And there is. My initial thoughts was it's bland, but it's got like this nice little aftertaste going. It's a little more flavorful than the traditional curry, but I still feel like I make a better curry at home. So, I don't know. Would I come here for this? I would not. I really miss that balmy sandwich. That was my jam. This? Oh, I think there's Brussels sprouts in here. Bear's gonna like that. This is like middle of the road. We know poor at best. Not the best curry I've had on property. I actually think the curry at um, Jico is better. Yeah. The tofu in here really sets it off, I think. For the vegan dishes that we've tried here, this is probably my favorite. Um, I could eat this no hands down. But it's still good. Just not as good as Jico. So, a nice spoon for my hair. Rice. I love curry. So I'm always interested to see a different way that Disney does it. This looks good. Mmm. I mean, it's weird how biting into that makes me wish they did still have the bomb, the impossible bomb, me like the princess said. It just, it feels like a, a veg, another vegetable medley with like light curry. It's not curry enough for my liking. I don't know if I'd order that on my own. One and a half out of five plus. So I got a decent selection of stuff here. We have the uh, goat curry here on the side. We have the cilantro lime, black beans, pulled pork, and the jerk chicken. I'm probably most excited for this goat curry because I love goat. bite here. Mm. You don't really have to chew you to gum it to death. But it's not too gamey. It's well seasoned, not overcooked. It seasons in there without being overpowering. I like this. I could do a whole bowl of this. Three and a half out of five plus. I guess now we'll dig into this cilantro rice. That perfect balance of cilantro and rice. Hmm? 
maybe too much cilantro flavor in that. Pause. Two out of five pause. Did Not you, my favorite. Did you call the... Uh... Yes, I did. That's for the black beans. Those are just as good. Basically melt in the mouth, not too much cumin. Mm. Three and a half out of five pounds for black beans. That's for this pulled pork. It's the right amount of moist without being Greasy, I like to say. So it's actually not bad. I would give that three and a half out of five bucks as well. That's for this jerk chicken, which looks beautiful. Char cooked all the way through. Well sauced. Mmm. The flavor is smoky and deep. A lot of spice like right on the tip of the tongue. Ooh. That's good, it's a good heat. I give it like a four out of 10 on the heat scale for the chicken. Mm. Four and a half out of five claws. That's good. Probably the best chicken I've had in a very long time. Overall, I give the whole plate a four. It rounds out. It's a very good plate. Hello everybody, Princess DeBear here and we just finished at Sebastian's Bistro. But totally not as good as it used to be. I understand now why they're only open for dinner and not lunch and dinner. It's very Caribbean though, like you definitely get that vibe. I just, it's just not my jam. The salad was good though. I, I'm not gonna hate on the salad, but the curry. They went from having really good vegan options to having like average to below average vegan options. Uh, until the menu changes again, I would say is avoid a vegan, not vegan, avoid. There are better options, uh, which is sad because we like this place. Yeah, so, we so really hopefully do. something improves soon because the curry is just not, not all there. But you liked your goat curry, didn't you? I did like my goat curry. I have uh, an old friend that brings me goat when they go home to the island, so I'm used to eating goat, stewed goat, curry goat. So it's just memories for me, but. I mean, if the princess can't get an enjoyable meal, it kind of defeats the purpose of going in the first place. I mean, so, if you are a family of non-vegans. Tons of things for you to eat. Or if you love salad. If you love salad. There's some unique stuff in that salad. And I was right, it, there were black beans in that salad. And they definitely made it um, better. Plus, you know, that's a protein. So that's a complete meal in that yep. salad. So, well, have you guys been to Sebastian's Bistro recently? Do you like the current menu? Do you wish you see something change? Hit us up in the comments. You'll see us both there. Uh, hit, us up, hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.